Artists like Usher only come along once in a generation. A prodigy who at 14 was able to emulate his heroes. You know, I was a huge Bobby Brown fan and New Edition fan, huge Michael Jackson fan, huge fan of music. And every time I would go to my grandparents' house, they would be playing like old school music from like Al Green mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Marvin Gaye. I'm like, who is this? What is, what is this? <laughs> we gonna run it like this. One, two, three, hit it! By age 19, Usher had become a bona fide teenage sensation, gracing magazine covers and dazzling young fans on MTV and BET. But he then managed to achieve something that few teen idols have been able to do. He successfully transitioned to adult superstar, a milestone reached by just two other male R&B artists in the past 60 years. Stevie Wonder, and Michael Jackson. Talk to me about the challenges of, you know, growing out of like your heartthrob image and really ushering people into a new phase of your life. I grew out of being a heartthrob. <laughs> You're still a heartthrob. <laughs> <laughs> of course, but you know, sometimes people get stuck I'm joking, in those. but I'm not. No, look, what I'm saying is check it for real. You grow up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And as you grow, you, you care about things other than what is superficial. As Usher matured, he shifted away from the soulful sounds of his 1997 breakthrough album, My Way, and began to get more personal. He was a man now. His 2008 album, Here I Stand, was inspired by his marriage to his first wife, Tamika Foster. This is my wife, right here. We are here as a happy family. I brought the Brady Bunch with me. The follow-up, Raymond vs. Raymond, was fueled by their divorce after two years of marriage and two sons, Cinco and Naveed. Anonymity is something that goes out the window when you decide that you want to be an entertainer. Mm. You know, and uh, did that part of it take a toll on the marriage? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure it did. For me to have my life as heavily scrutinized as it is, and people to have their opinions, you know, everybody's gonna have one. And his 2012 album, Looking for Myself, was tinged with obvious reflections of a man forced to grow up in the public eye. But it was an earlier album, his 2004 blockbuster Confessions, that changed his career forever. Fans couldn't get enough of what they thought were Usher's true confessions about the end of his very public two-year relationship with Chili of TLC. I've never been able to truly just open it all up, and okay. you know, hey, you know what? Every you gotta you gotta get to that point in your career where you can be vulnerable in front of your fans. You gotta keep it real with them. I'm keeping it real with y'all. That's what real music is. The album went on to sell 18 million copies worldwide, making it the best-selling album of the 21st century by a male R&B artist. It catapulted Usher into the musical stratosphere. It also produced a number of high-profile collaborations with Alicia Keys, Ludacris, and Little John. What I love so much about like watching you throughout your career is you've taken opportunities to work with different artists. Because collaboration is how something great happens. You know, the younger artists are, are rocking with classic artists and we keep it moving. Case in point, this summer's cross-generational collab with Summer Walker and 21 Savage. In fact, Usher frequently dips into hip hop, from Diddy to Jay-Z to the City Girls. You have a hit on your hands with good love with the City Girls. What was it like working with them, these young artists? And what does it say about, you know, our generation that these artists are really speaking for us? I, I love uh, JT and I, and I love Miami. Uh, anytime I've ever called Miami, she always shows up for me. She's a, she's a real, real one. Yeah. And uh, when she reached out to me to listen to this song, without question, I was like, yo, it's a hit. You know, I look at hip hop, man, and I really love it, right? Hip hop has been a motivator to me. I was raised by majority hip hop people. Mm -hmm. I mean, from the beginning of my career, working with Organized Noise mm -hmm. and Rico Wade, that was the first crew I ever rocked with. Aside from Chris Brown, Usher is the sole former male teen R&B star still churning out hits today. Add to that, a Vegas residency that's been the hottest ticket in town for two years. It has the New York Times asking if Usher could turn America on again to R&B, placing him in the middle of the debate over whether the genre is on life support. Those songs make you feel something. They do. Uh -huh. And I think in some way R&B kind of gets this stigma of being, you know, 
missing in action or either not as relevant. No, it's not. There's incredible music that's out there that's R&B. Whether he's R&B savior or not, Usher's longevity is undeniable. He's been famous now for almost 30 years with his legacy co-signed by two legends. In 2001, Usher joined the King of Pop on stage for the finale of the Michael Jackson 30th Anniversary Celebration. And at the 2005 Grammy Awards, he performed with the godfather of soul, James Brown, who proclaimed Usher the godson of soul. The new godson, Usher. James Brown told me, <laughs> if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. Yeah. So, I mean, these are mantras that, that are real. The entertainers that I was watching, mm -hmm. they were motivating me as I watched them entertain in a very specific way. Whatever I saw on television was trying to emulate it. But it hasn't always been easy. At times, his romantic life has grabbed the headlines. And back in 2007, he parted ways with his mom, Janetta Patton, as his manager. We began to part our ways when I wanted to expand in other areas that I felt like she wasn't necessarily considerate of. You know, why create this tension when I'm attempting to grow as a man? But he never lost his love and admiration for the woman who raised him. Thank God I had a single mother yeah. who was not only willing to help raise an amazing young man with her elders, mm -hmm. grandparents, uh, but she went on to mentor me. His father, who died in 2008, was absent from Usher's childhood, but still had an impact on his career. Not being raised by my father, who I was named after, I only had the name to look at. I didn't have the father to supply me with the idea of what it was to be Usher. So I had to create it. I said, all right, well, I'm gonna make this name mean something. I didn't get the love that I wanted from my father, so I sought to get the love from the world. Now a dad himself, Usher has four kids, two with his current girlfriend, Jen Gokuchia, raging in age two to 15. To Usher, family is everything. There's nothing like a father's love. There's accolades, hey, mom, I made it. Yeah. Where's dad? Yeah. We almost forget about dad. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a well, dad no, and advocating for dads. Well, no, but I'm just saying you got four little people who, well, two older kids and two little people who are saying, that's dad. But well, do they even know dad is Usher? They do, <laughs> but they don't care. <laughs> But fatherhood has not diminished his determination. He just released a new music video, Boyfriend, starring Kiki Palmer. Do you remember where you were when you first heard this? He's been so relevant for so long, he's doing throwbacks of himself and still keeping his eye on the prize he's been chasing since middle school. I, I ain't trying to just be a king. Yeah. I want a kingdom. I want us to be able to look around and say, we built something. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Something magnificent came out of this. Mm -hmm. Wasn't just some great songs, you know what I'm saying? Back to the like, bigger picture. Yeah, man.